And now a startling new development in this case that we first broke today on WFTV.com. Right around the time that Kaylee disappeared, her grandparents reported someone had stolen two cans of gasoline from their shed. And mother, Casey Anthony, had been known to steal gas before. Channel 9's Eric Rasmussen continues our team coverage now from the Anthony House. And Eric, could this gas somehow help explain Kaylee's sudden disappearance? No, we posed that exact question to the sheriff's office as soon as we saw this report. Investigators say they don't believe there's a direct connection, but at least one admitted to me the timing of this break-in and what was taken from the family's property certainly raised a lot of eyebrows. Kaylee Anthony may have already been missing when deputies were called out to the Anthony family's home in late June. But at that time, the focus was a burglary to a storage shed in the backyard. According to this June 24th report from the Orange County Sheriff's Office, George Anthony said someone stole two gas cans and broke the lock to his storage shed to get them. I'd rather really not say anything, guys, at the moment. Thank you. The family avoided the topic after court. Investigators did say Casey Anthony has stolen gas from her family before, but they don't think the burglary has a connection to Kaylee's disappearance and don't believe it was used to destroy evidence in the case. Well, you have to look at it. Uh, it may be something and it may not. The break-in happened in the middle of what's now an even more mysterious timeline. The family says Kaylee was last seen June 15th. The burglary to the storage shed happened around June 24th, the same day Casey Anthony's ex-fiance says he heard little Kaylee in the background of a phone conversation with Casey. Casey wasn't arrested until July 16th, and the investigation led detectives to the same backyard where deputies had been just a few weeks earlier. And as we come back out live, we can tell you the sheriff's report does say a deputy dusted for fingerprints on that storage shed and didn't find any. Just a short while ago, in the last hour or so, the family did appear to arrive back here at the home. They went straight into the garage and didn't have anything to say. We're live here in Orlando. Eric Rasmussen, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.